G'day legends, coming into you from the back of my van this week as we're still on the road and touring through Northern Queensland. And this week I'm gonna talk about how I'm keeping my batteries charged while on the road. So my short journey with uh, keeping the batteries of my cameras, my laptops, uh, running my fridge and just running everyday stuff out the back of my van and I'm just gonna show you how it goes, not just while on the road, but also as a working photographer when I'm um, shooting an all day job or a couple of day job, uh, even back home on the Sunshine Coast. So for those of you that haven't heard of me before, my name is Tom Woods and I'm a professional photographer that's been working full time since 2004 and I specialise in water photography and started my career as a surf photographer for a couple of magazines in the early 2000s. At the moment I am uh, devoting a lot of my time to uh, teaching others how to make a career and uh, how to get proficient at water photography and surf photography and I've got some um, free content uh, that you can sign up to below. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, so the idea of today is to just give you a bit of an insight into um, the way I've set up my uh, system for charging batteries while on the road. It's worked really good. So far we've been on the road for five weeks and we haven't plugged into mains power uh, one single time. So. Uh, this little deep cycle battery here has uh, powered everything we need so far for an entire five weeks. So if it's done it for five weeks, it can do it forever more, I guess. So it's a cool little system. And I haven't had a heap of experience with um, uh, off-grid off off working as a photographer. Uh, pretty much all of my commercial photography work has uh, come with accommodation. So I've either been put up in accommodation or it's for an accommodation. Uh, so I've always gone back to um, you know the place where I'm staying at night and been able to charge all my camera batteries, uh, load all my photos on the laptop and been plugged into mains power. So it hasn't really been a concern for me, but now I'm starting to do a lot more uh, off-grid uh, living, I suppose, and we want to, and there's flies everywhere, and we want to, um, we want to make that a thing of our future, just living outside a lot and doing a lot of our photography. Uh, in the great outdoors and doing lots of camping and uh, yeah not worrying about being inside uh, in the night time just makes it more interesting so anyway I had to get a, um, a deep cycle battery so first of all on the Sunshine Coast I uh, went to a, a mob that um, specializes in this an auto electrician I guess and he set me up with uh, this deep cycle battery that runs um, that sits in the back of my van and gets charged every time I drive off the front battery through the alternator. And I set up this initial trip for um, just charging all of my stuff on 12 volt and it worked uh, wonderfully well for the first few weeks. Um, I have got, <coughs> let me see, I'll start, I'll start you off with uh, what I charge with camera batteries because that's the most important thing. So uh, the Canon and Nikon and Sony and they all come with uh, the battery charger with the camera, but it only plugs into um, 240 volts or mains power if you're from overseas. So what I had to do is get a um, 12 volt charger and I got the uh, Harnell Cube 2. Uh, it works really well because I can charge two batteries at a time. It also gives you the reading on the LCD screen unlike the uh, Canon generic charger or the, the, the charger that comes with the Canon camera. So this can uh, give you an indication of how topped up your battery is. So that's, a, that's an added bonus. And charging two batteries at the same time is something I haven't had before. So super good bonus with that one. And so I even use that. You can plug into 240 volts. So if I'm back home with 240 volts, I'll probably use this one because it's a better charger. And anyway, so my deep cycle battery is set up here and it's got um, a heap of these 12 volt uh, inlets so that just plugs straight into one of those inlets and immediately starts charging my battery uh, both of my batteries at the same time so that's my cameras taken care of there they can get charged while I'm driving they can get charged while I'm camping they can get charged halfway through a shoot unlike uh, I used to when I used to be at home okay so while I've got the uh, Harnell cube out I'll put a link to that in the description so you can check them out for yourself. I think they're about a hundred and something, $119 Australian to buy. And I'm sure you can get them all over the world. 
Um, but the bonus of this cube too is that you can also fit this on top of uh, on top of it. Oh, by the way, these ones uh, this is set up for the Canon batteries, but they uh, also come with uh, inlets for all multiple different types of batteries. So just make sure in the packet that you're buying the one for your Nikon camera or your Sony camera or whatever. Uh, I got multiple fittings, so I could probably charge them all. But I all, they also give me this fitting, which is a AA charger uh, on the top, so I can charge four AA's at any one time. Um, so that doubles up well for my flash batteries and also my torch batteries, and you know, AA is pretty handy for a lot of things. So I've, I've got that uh, as a bonus extra, but I also run a um, 12 volt antelope uh, sorry, yeah, 12 volt antelope charger, which can take 12 batteries at a time. So if I have to charge lots, lots at the same time, I've got that option as well. So that's pretty, that's a pretty handy um, option. So now I'll move over to the drone batteries. And this has been a real game changer for me um, with the drone batteries. We got this, this whole system, this 12 volt um, system, installed probably about two or three months before we actually went on this uh, Queensland trip. So I've had it in the car for, the, for, a, for a little while. And I've got to say, um, charging the drone batteries has been a real game changer. Uh, so we've got three batteries for our Phantom 4 Pro. And uh, that sounds like a lot of batteries and it's a massive battery, but it doesn't run the drone for very long. So we found ourselves uh, in a lot of jobs, if it was a full day job, shooting some drone in the morning, and then in the afternoon, want to get the drone up again, and all three batteries have sometimes been exhausted. They say it lasts about half an hour uh, per battery, but generally you really only get 20 minutes or even less before it wants you to bring the drone back in. So um, charging these uh, on the go while on a job was a real game changer. We were able to get a lot more drone shots um, because we were allowed to, each time battery run out, we just came back to the car, plugged one in, and while the drone was in the air, another one was charging. So we could do a lot more drone work uh, than we normally would in one day uh, on the three battery system. So um, that's good when you're camping or when you're off grid, but it's also good when you're just on day jobs, uh, commercial jobs uh, during the day. So stoked that um, we've used that heaps before we actually even came on road. Same thing, just plugs into one of these 12 volt outlets, uh, can plug in to your battery and then this lead controls your uh, drone controller as well. So um, that's an epic, epic addition to um, our photography. So the other, the other inlets it's got is a couple of USB ports. So they just plug straight into uh, the phone. So we've got our phones all charged up and a couple of torches run off USB and also our CB radios. We've got a few CB radios to keep in touch. Uh, when we're out of range, so um, they charge through the USB port as well. So this can be all happening at once. You've got three inlets for 12 volt, you've got two inlets for USB, and it all handles it at the same time. So as I was talking about before, the car uh, charges the battery when we're on the road, and um, you know what? That's probably enough, because we get in the car nearly every day to go exploring. So the constant running of the engine uh, tops up this 12 volt battery pretty much enough to run our um, charging all our batteries running our 12 volt fridge there and also um, lighting inside the tent and um, you know whatever else pretty much i reckon that the car just topping up driving around the car is enough to run the battery however we do um, run a, a solar panel so uh, when the sun's out and we're parked chuck the solar panel out and that tops it up really quite well actually. So uh, yeah, the solar panels are a definite advantage. Uh, they are not too much. Uh, I think I spent 150, I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to remember what I spent on those solar panels, but they were definitely well worth it. It was only about $150 and now we can just get um, power from the sun. So if we're not driving around much, uh, that's all good to go. So I would definitely recommend uh, pairing it up with uh, solar panels and not just relying on your car. Okay, so when I set out, I thought I was gonna just uh, charge all my things off 12 volt, but there's one thing I didn't consider and I didn't actually uh, get my laptop out for the first two weeks because I was just like, I'd spent so much time on the computer in the last two years 
making these courses and uh, you know just general editing of my commercial work that I was just didn't even want to look at a computer so for the first two weeks I didn't even turn my laptop on but then when I wanted to load uh, some of the pictures on, on the cards that I'd taken I went to turn my laptop on and uh, realized that I need 240 volts to charge that so I looked up to see if uh, laptops uh, could charge off to, like they had a 12 volt adapter or something like that and it wasn't to be. A good friend of mine from Coffs Harbour, Macca, thanks mate, he set me up with what I needed and what I needed was a pure sine wave converter and then so I called into a store in um, northern Queensland and got myself this little Dometic um, sine wave converter it's not a super powerful one it's just it's just one that's enough to run uh, to charge up my laptop and uh, now I use it to charge up my um, air mattress pumps and my electric toothbrush so uh, it does a really good job basically that just plugs into an Anderson plug um, turns on and then it's got a, a 240 volt a normal 240 volt outlet plug there and keeps my laptops charged so uh, that was an addition that I made later and well worth it um, for my computer uh, for sure so that's something that I don't use uh, that often when I'm on the road I try and just shoot and have multiple cards and do the work when I get home but this trip's been going on for like five or six weeks so I've had to uh, offload my cards and, and do a little bit of editing as well yeah that was a good little addition and I think the Dometic one was only around about $130 so once again not a big investment for something that is going to charge our stuff uh, going forward a fair bit. So yeah now I've got this uh, camping, camping deal pretty much sorted now. I can have all my batteries charged and be a professional photographer on the road. Uh, it's going to come into my day-to-day -day work when I'm back home on the Sunshine Coast and shooting commercial jobs on a daily. I can charge my camera batteries. Uh, I'm starting to do a bit more video work now, so charging up the camera batteries uh, can be important on a big job. And you know, my drones, as I said before, is a real bonus. So I can definitely get some more airtime now that I can charge my drones on the go. Uh, I can set up in a car park at the beach and uh, do a little bit of editing or downloading photos while I'm waiting for the surf to get better. So um, I'm stoked I've got this in the back of my van and uh, going forward I reckon it's going to be a real winner and we're going to be doing a lot more off-road sort of off the grid uh, camping uh, and uh, photographing so I'm um, stoked I've got this solar 12 volt battery set up uh, if you want to ask any questions uh, please put them below I'm a bit of a novice at this this is not a high grade one by any means but I've found over the last six weeks been off grid full time that it's been enough to run what I need for um, uh, yeah, for being a photographer uh, on the road and also camping with my family of four. So uh, yeah, please give you, give me any suggestions. I might be missing something. Uh, better ways of doing it. I'm always open to suggestions. I just uh, wanted to make this video because I right know I'm stoked on it. It's uh, saved me some uh, time and it's made it a lot easier for me to um, yeah just keep charged while on the road. So that's it for this week. If you guys want to uh, see any more of my stuff, I've got a link below to uh, my water photography course, uh, which you can become a member of. If you want to uh, have a look at a free online workshop, I'll also put the uh, link down below for that. But yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in this week and um, we'll see you soon.